Good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me for this week's craft. We're going to be making these really cute penguins out of an old CD. So you can use an old CD, you can use an old DVD, um, old discs from computers that you're just not using anymore, and you can make all sorts of fun crafts out of them. Um, it's a great way to recycle. So. Uh, maybe some uh, sometime down the road I'll do a couple more videos and show you some different crafts that you can do with CDs. But today we're going to be making these really cute penguins. Um, so it's really simple. Uh, let's get started. In your craft bag, we'll scoot him off to the side for a minute. In your craft bag you have a CD. You have this little ring that's been cut out. Um, you also have this circle that we're going to be cutting in half to make his wings or his flippers, I guess I should say. Uh, two googly eyes, two little feet, a beak, and some spiky hair to put right on top. So the first thing we can do is go ahead and we'll glue this ring right around the edge of our CD. So while I glue this on, just a couple little fun facts about penguins is they are birds, but they can't fly. Um, what is something penguins do? They swim, right? So they're black and white, and they have a torpedo-like body that actually they can swim through the water at about 25 miles per hour. That's really fast swimmer. Um, they also... Um, live in the South Pole on Antarctica and some are also found on the coast of South America the Galapagos Islands Australia Africa New Zealand there may be as many as 100 million penguins in the world um, so pretty neat little fact there so we have our ring around our CD there and the next thing that we'll do is let's see we'll take the googly eyes and let's see, I'm trying to remember if these peel off or if we need to glue them. Let's see. Oh, it does peel off. Sometimes it can be a little tricky, but once you get it started, the, let the paper on the back peels right off. So while I work on that, um, penguins also spend most of their time in the water searching for food. Um, does anybody know what kind of food penguins like to eat? They like to eat a lot of uh, seafood. And they also, they can't swim backwards. That's kind of interesting. But they also, they can hold their breath underwater for about six minutes. That's a really long time. This paper's being stubborn on the back of my googly eye here. Maybe I'll just glue this one on. So we'll take our googly eyes and we're going to Stick them, I don't know, right in the middle. I'm gonna put a dot of glue down for my other one here. Just a little dot. I'll stick his other eye on right there. So I'll turn that so you can see. Here's his little googly eyes. And then next, here's his little beak. I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue. We don't wanna put it right in the middle because that's where the hole is, but I'll put a little dot of glue just around it so it has something to stick to. And we're gonna stick his beak right on there. So there's your penguin's beak. And then next, we've got little feet. We'll go ahead and we'll put some glue on the bottom here and we'll stick the penguin's little feet on the bottom here. Just like that. There's the penguin's little feet. Now next, we've got this circle here, and we're going to actually use a pair of scissors, and you're just gonna cut this circle right in half, right down the middle, just like that. And this will be your penguin's flippers. So I'm going to take a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put it right on the side here, and I'm gonna stick a flipper on like that and then I'll put some on the other side and we'll stick it on there too and two little flippers 
Now, once your penguin has a chance to dry just a little bit, you can, I'll push this one over to the side here. You can flip your penguin over and I used a little bit of tape just in my example. So you can tape it too, but once your penguin is dry enough on the front, you can flip it over and you can take a little bit of glue and you can put it right across the top and you'll just stick a spiky little hair right on top there. And then once everything is dry, you've got your finished penguin right there. So like I said, a really simple craft talking about penguins this week, and we also did our penguin story last week, which was kind of a silly one. Um, so that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoy this quick and simple craft, and I will be joining you um, the first week of February. We'll have a story time, and I got a couple crafts ready for you for the month of February. So I hope everybody's ready for some snow. I hear we're supposed to get some, I think, tomorrow into Wednesday, um, which would be a great opportunity to get involved in the Lowell Parks Department Snowmageddon Snowman Contest. Um, and we posted on our Facebook page, if you want a fun place to build your snowman, snow creature, or your, um, your igloo, or your Whatever you want to create in the snow, we have a really awesome space in front of the library. Um, feel free to use that and build your creation right here at the library. So until next time, as always, be safe, stay healthy, and be kind.